Um, how so, does um, how does something like Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? I um, how does that like affect savings and stuff? Right. Did that affect all that, or did it? Do you know what I mean? So very the, the official topic. line I have to give you as a regulated, authorized, and regulated financial planner. I would tell all of my clients, and I flatly tell them, stay away from anything that's unregulated. Yeah. You do not need to take that risk. And also, I have a personal view, obviously, on Bitcoin and crypto and all the rest of it that I can give you. Look, it's done fantastically well for some people, and some people got very lucky. But I take the view that it was actually just that. Mm. Just lucky, yeah. Yeah. I mean, with you know, bank, central banks are now cluing onto this. And we saw Rishi the other day on one of his releases talking about releasing the UK's digital currency. So when, frankly, all of our countries catch up with releasing their own digital you know, currencies, what's going to be left for these guys? Yeah. And what are you going to be able to buy for that? I can't go buy down and buy my family milk, sugar, bread, you know, all the things you know, we might need for our day-to-day -day living. You can't actually use that stuff. So everyone's catching up. And therefore, I would just say, look, adjust your risk attitude. Yeah. You know, think about where you are, where you want to be. Think about your attitude. Think about where you can target your efforts and think about your outcome. Does it fit? It's an unregulated investment. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd just ask or because asset. you see it fucking everywhere, don't you? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Invest in crypto, invest but in this Bitcoin, is the, invest this in this. This is the danger investment. of the world we live in, isn't and it? That's what I was going to say. Like, how did how does, you know, from a professional seeing mm. it, who he do, deals with money all the time, what, mm. you know, what was your view on it? Well, and, uh, yeah. yeah, that was... All these Instagram people shoving it down our throats yeah, on social media. Yeah. We are bombarded by this stuff every day and it's very dangerous because people will always seek the easy option. And they see it as the easy option, but it's very dangerous. You need to maintain your discipline and think, actually, is my attitude right here? No, I don't think it is. Mm. You know, it's unregulated. If you lose your money, can you afford to lose your money? If you can't, or, you, or, or if it's going to be distasteful for you. When I you would, say it's unregulated, does that mean that it could just do anything? Like, there's it no, could do anything. Someone could steal your money. There's no protection. There's no protection. Well, was it, wasn't there a, um, like a, a crypto bank or wallet or something that just pretty much vanished recently and just yeah, there's been billions a few, with it. There have been a few cryptocurrencies. Oh, yeah, I think that, I read that. FTX yeah. or something? Something mm. like that, yeah. Just. There have been a few along the way that, um, frankly, they reckon the CEOs or whoever's been involved has just sort of banked the money and just disappeared. Been they, they've and there done it with celebrities as well, endorsing yeah. their, their currency, yeah. and then they've took, taken, like, billions. Well, Kim, they, Kardashian, just, boom, Kim Kardashian got a huge fine for, um, I think, Pump and Dump, yeah. where she awesome. used her influence to pump up the value of a crypto coin. And then sold it. Yeah, and, and then sold they sold it and just everyone lost their but money. But this is it. You're a pawn in that financial game where they know there's no comeback on them because it's completely unregulated. Yeah. There are no protections for you as an investor. And therefore, I would say to you, look, you're not earning the sort of monies that these people are on. You haven't got the sort of backstops. Be sensible, adjust your goals, adjust your outcomes, and focus on those. Because, yeah. you know, it's like our grandparents' generation. They couldn't, if they couldn't afford something, they didn't do it. My granddad always says that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always like, if you can't afford something, boy, cut your cloth. Do I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah exactly. Oh, it's the old oh, lessons. And that's what people have forgotten in a world where we want instant gratification and we search for it so hard that it damages our mental health and then it damages our health and it has that knock on effect. Yeah. And that's what we see um, from the professional side. And we just say to people, look, let's get back to the core. What are you really focusing on and for an outcome here? Let's build from that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a mad one. I think the crypto stuff. But yeah. I think Logan Paul was the same, wasn't he? Did the crypto zoo, if you heard of that fucking yeah, bollocks? Yeah, fucking. It's N NFTs and all that yeah, shit. And nonsense. it's just, it, it just, it just seems the, like a the next scam, scam, The next scam, the next fad, but you've got no comeback. Yeah.